Welcome back to the build site for the tiny lab. We're going to introduce you to the beginnings of our plumbing system. I am a novice plumber. Every time I go to the home improvement store, I tell whoever I ask, and hopefully this person knows more than I do, uh, I tell them that first off so that they know who they're dealing with. So with that being said, we uh, picked some components that are kind of specialized and uh, also easy to use for novices. So the first thing that you'll notice is here. I mentioned this when we were talking about the shed that I'm standing in, which is also called the mechanical closet. Uh, this is our water heater. The thing about this water heater in a tiny house on wheels situation is that our water bag, our tank essentially, is going to be kept inside the house, which means it's going to be the same temperature as the inside of the house, which is going to be about 70 degrees. Your water, when you're at home, comes in at ground temperature, which is about 55 degrees or sometimes less. So that means that this is going to have a lot less work to do than in a typical home. Secondly, we only want to warm this up a little bit because I have one shower head that's going to be one and a half gallons per minute, and we have one sink, which is going to be one gallon a minute. So I have only max two and a half gallons per minute that's going to be going through this. It's designed to have 75,000 BTUs. It's one of the smallest ones that we've got. And even then, I'm going to dial these two way, way down because we only have to do a little bit of warming and we only have to use a little bit of water to get what we want. Now, because it's in the shed, it's going to use combustion air, but we want to make sure that the propane tanks, which are going to be kept down here at my feet, and that's what's going to be heating the water, are separated air-wise. So we have built this floor, and you can see I'm actually interrupting part of it right here. This is going to be relatively airtight to the lower chamber of this front mechanical closet. Um, the propane tanks are vented out through the floor with little vents in case there's a propane link goes out and down to the road instead of up and towards this. Uh, the plumbing here is going to be shark bite. Uh, we're using PEX, which is a plastic pipe. It's used pretty widely. The two main choices when you're building a tiny house uh, are CPVC, which is uh, PVC that's designed for higher temperatures, or PEX. And I decided to use PEX simply because the CPVC is a little bit more brittle uh, and we would have connections all over the place. And I like the idea that this only has two connections, one right here at the water heater and one at the fixture. So all of that is going to be made a lot easier. It's very unlikely I'm going to have any leaks in the middle of this plastic pipe. It's generally going to happen where I'm messing with it with these little fixtures. So this goes right on here to the water heater and then uh, inside the house. And I'd like to go ahead and show you the shower because we've got that and the beginnings of our drain system set up. So we have our shower, which is a one piece, which I was so excited to find uh, in the home improvement store because it saves me a lot of time figuring out all the flashing and putting the pieces together and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to caulk anything if I don't have to. So this was really easy. It's a 32 inch by 32 inch shower. As you can see, we have raised it up off the floor nine inches. That is because we built this floor into the deck of the trailer. So unlike a lot of tiny houses where you'll get the trailer and then you build a floor on top of it, we wanted to save as much headroom as possible. So we built down into the trailer, uh, which means that I don't have room to go down for my plumbing and mess around inside the trailer. That would be really messy and I'd have to do all my plumbing outside the trailer underneath, which means it's gonna get hit when I, we're on the road, which this is gonna be for 20 cities in 2016. So what we did instead is raise this bad boy up and this is gonna be our drain system. So we have a shower drain. This is a no caulk shower drain, like it. Uh, the PVC connections that need to be here and then this thing is called a waterless P-trap. A P-trap is a little P-shaped thing that if you open up your kitchen cabinet or your bathroom cabinet, you can see there's a pipe that goes down there. That P-trap is for a specific purpose. It fills up with water and then the water stays there so that when there is a negative pressure in the house, the house doesn't suck air out of the sewer because that would be bad. Your house is connected to the sewer, but not we don't want it to be too connected. Our house is not connected to a sewer. Uh, so number one, we don't need to have that those vent connections that you can see coming out of a lot of people's roofs because we're just going to be emptying out into the fresh air not into a sewer system second thing is that thing if we sit idle or if this place if we go on a trip for two weeks it might dry out and also it might freeze if it was outside in the cold weather so i wanted to have this waterless p-trap for an, those reasons uh, and also i didn't want to drill down into this deck so this thing requires nine inches for me to get from the shower down to my drain, which you can see right there. 
So now we're able to get all of this stuff outside nice and easy. We'll just have a container that we slip underneath the house uh, that nobody's going to trip on when we stop so that we can catch all of our gray water. Again, we're not going to have black water because we also have to have our toilet. So this came, we're going to do a lot more talking about all of this stuff. Obviously this is a composting toilet because you don't see a flush thing up here. Uh, so we're going to talk about this. We're going to be showing it off when we're on the road on the Proof is Possible Tour in 2016. I hope that you get a chance to come out and see us in one of those 20 cities. If you want to learn more about any of that stuff, check out our Facebook page and like that, please. Subscribe to this channel and also go to proofispossible.com and you can find out a lot more details. Thanks a lot for watching. Tune in next time.